What's up? So today, ladies and gentlemen, we're gonna be looking at your survey responses ranking every single winner's umbrella in Fortnite from worst to best. After reaching out to you guys, you came back with 18,762 votes, giving a very conclusive answer as to what is the worst and best umbrella. And the last thing I just wanna say before we get into this is we're actually trying a bit of a different format for today's video. Part of the reason that I upload longer videos is just because YouTube prefers that type of content and sometimes as a creator, you are a little bit bound to the algorithm. Seeing as this is my job and all. But I did wanna try something different today, so if you guys do enjoy this video and wanna see more of this type of content, just watch all the way through, leave a like, and then comment down below what you thought, what your favorite... <laughs> Comment below what you thought and what your favorite glider is, um, and that'll tell YouTube like, hey, uh, yeah, this is a cool video. <laughs> Sometimes you are a little bit bound as a creator to the algorithm and YouTube's whims, so if you guys do want to see more of this content, um, doing those things will just let me know that, and yeah. Anyways, let's do this. All right, so coming in at number 11 as the lowest ranked umbrella in Fortnite, this is the Season 7 Snowfall. Now, I'm actually a little bit surprised that this was ranked the lowest, but again, it is without a doubt in my mind conclusively the least liked glider. Of 18,762 votes, this only got 288. And I actually think I have an answer as to why people didn't love this one. A lot of the time, people base their opinions on nostalgia, and there's already a winter-themed umbrella that exists, but from season two. So I think it makes sense that anyone who would have voted for a winter-themed glider would have gone for the snowflake, even though this one is just equally as cool. And number 10, this is going to be the Founders Umbrella, surprisingly not the lowest ranked, getting 553 votes. The Founders Umbrella, in my opinion, is kind of poo-poo looking. I would say probably the grossest looking umbrella, but seeing as it is part of the Save the World bundle and when you buy Save the World, you get it for Battle Royale, I can kind of see why people might like this one a little bit. I certainly think that Snowfall is better, but the people have voted and uh, you gotta respect your opinion. At number nine with 606 votes, we have the season six web umbrella. Not a phenomenal glider, um, but it pairs up with a lot of skins and I do like it. It's Halloween themed and while I don't think it's one of the strongest gliders we've ever seen, it's certainly not bad. I think part of the reason I always like this is because it's black, and now that we have the new John Wick full black glider, um, this one's certainly not going to be used in my arsenal. Not going to be used in my locker very much anymore. At number eight, with 652 votes, we've got the OG Winners Umbrella. Now back in the preseason one days, the Winners Umbrella used to be a thing of marvel and horror, because if someone had a win preseason one, they were basically the god of this game, and you should tremble before their might. But at the end of the day, it is pretty basic, and uh, there doesn't really have a lot going for it. Moving on to seven with 683 votes, we have season five's Beach Umbrella. I think this is a fair rating. Um, it's not one of the best gliders, but it is kind of neat. I do like it. Now, number six with 769 votes, we have season four's Wet Paint. Personally, I think this should be bottom two. So it made sense for a graffiti-themed glider. But the problem is that instead of going with really cool street art, they just went with graffiti that you would see on the side of a dumpster. So in a way, the wet paint umbrella is literal garbage. Now breaking into our top five spots, the first to see four digits, we have Palm Leaf with 1,057 votes. This is fresh in everyone's mind, so I certainly see why people like it a lot, but I, I also think that this is a fair pick. This is like the first unique umbrella that we've ever seen that's not just a round disc with different colors. It's a palm leaf, and it makes a cool noise, and uh, I think this is a very respectable pick for a respectable umbrella. At number four, we've got, I think, my personal favorite with 2,023 votes, the Paper Parasol from season three. This is just a really unique glider, especially for its time. To see they put this out in season three um, makes it kind of special in that sense, but also, again, I, th I think it still holds up as being a very unique glider in general. Coming in at number three with 2,667 votes, we have the John Wick umbrella. Now, I'm really glad to see a winner's umbrella from this game mode. While it's not a traditional seasonal umbrella, I thought it would be fun to include this one as it just came out. And I really like it. Plus, I want to see more of this. 
Umbrellas are the best because they get in the way the least of your land, and on top of that, you can still kind of express yourself in a cool way. So I really hope we start seeing more and more umbrellas released out into different game modes. Plus, the black just looks sleek. Now with 2,810 votes at our second spot, we have Snowflake. So all those votes that could have potentially gone towards the Snowfall glider from Season 7 just all got funneled into Season 2 because people like this one more. And I respect it. I mean, it's not the greatest looking glider ever, but the thing is, is it is just OG. It's really nothing special, but people have nostalgia for it, and that's why they voted for it. Anyways, ladies and gentlemen, topping out our number one spot. Okay, this got 6,718 votes. That is more than our third and second spot combined. That is more votes than Umbrella's 8 to 4 got. So with absolute confidence, and I personally agree with this too, I think we can say that the holographic glider from Season 9 is the best. It's the most unique, and uh, it fits the season perfectly. So, that makes sense. Anyways, ladies and gentlemen, that is going to wrap up our video today. If you guys enjoyed this, again, let me know, because I've got a lot of smaller topics that we could absolutely cover in like the short style of video, but it's going to be very dependent on whether you guys actually want to see it. Or not. So yeah, feel free to leave a like as well if you're new to the channel, subscribe, all that stuff, and uh, I'll be seeing you soon. Peace. If you guys enjoy it,